Here's a cool story. Kayaking along the San Antonio River wall is back. After decades of being a no paddle zone, kayakers can now temporarily cruise through a popular part of the river. Our Sarah Duran takes us along the water to explain the hype down the river. It's a sight for sore eyes. At least it is for Sarah Neal. One by one, she watches kayakers climb aboard for a morning of adventure. So right now we've got um, people launching so they can pack on the San Antonio River. If people aren't already paddling along the river, they are here at the ramp. Uh, have y'all done some kayaking before? Getting pointers for the journey ahead. It's been a long time, 30 years in fact, since kayakers have been allowed on this part of the river. The scenic business district where popular hotels, shops and restaurants are located. Okay, now I'm ready. It's a first for many on this route, including myself. Nervous giggles aside, Sarah and I begin our trip. It's calm, it's quiet. Serenity is part of the experience, a feeling easy to grasp right now since COVID caused a desolate river walk. They had no income, so the city was looking for any way to get locals back on their river, um, back downtown to eat, to shop. The San Antonio River Walk Association contacted Sarah's company, a phone call she had been waiting years for. The only trick is, is that we were only given five weeks. A little more than a month to allow only morning cruises on the weekends. And if kayakers still want in on the river, they're already out of luck. All spots are sold out. Email the mayor. Email Sarah isn't giving up. Nearing the end of renting out kayaks, she continues advocating for an extension. All the way through October, November, December. It's not only helping her business stay afloat, but bringing locals back to the heart of downtown. Even if they aren't the best at kayaking. I don't give up. I fought for five years and it finally worked. Continuing to fight and hopeful to see it through. Well, as you can tell, Sarah is joining us now from the Riverwalk. Sarah, good morning. Uh, so you got to tell us you're on, on in a kayak right now. Tell us what the whole experience is like. Hey, good morning, Charles and Alex. So the experience is a lot different this morning than when we shot that story the other week. It's a lot colder this morning and a lot windier. So we're dealing with a lot of conditions out here this morning. Actually, James is holding my kayak right now because if he lets me go, I'm gonna start roaming down this river, uh, which you'll see here in a second, but it feels great. It's a beautiful morning, so I'm excited to be out here. <laughs> So Sarah, we saw your story and it looks like maybe you ran into a few bumps along <laughs> the river. Tell us about how you managed to get your stride going. <laughs> So I will say this is my fourth time out in a kayak. I've done it uh, several times in Austin and the other two times I've been here in San Antonio. So definitely have low expectations for this live shot, but high spirits is what I say uh, <laughs> for getting out here on a kayak. But it's super great because the barges that are usually out here on the Riverwalk, they aren't out here right now. They're working on a delayed schedule right now. So that allows for kayakers, beginners like me to kind of flub every now and then. <laughs> Sarah, can you paddle your way closer? to us come on you're drifting away i know, <laughs> I know. Sorry. you should be an you know, expert by now multitasking is really great <laughs> well as you paddle your way so. back there can you kind of i feel like we're there with you yeah we are so <laughs> take us there with you speaking of being there with you uh t what do you see from a kayak from that point of view people are used to being on the the banks of the river walk how is it being in a kayak on the river <laughs> Sorry, oh. I probably look really awkward right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got some kayak friends out there. <laughs> yeah, we got some kayakers out early this morning, so you got a beautiful view of all of the guests that are out here um, enjoying this. It's right in front of me. Uh, if James is want to uh, tilt up a little bit, you can see Hotel Indigo. So you have on their porches this morning, um, which is really great to see because with COVID, you know, it really it really killed a lot of business down here. So it's great to see people back. <laughs> here we go. Got some wind pushing me. Um, whoa, hit a b <laughs> uh, You'll also see just a lot of uh, the, the downtown sites um, from the Riverwalk. So it's a really uh, unique perspective that you don't really see so much of when you're just walking along the Riverwalk. <laughs> All right, well, we're okay. just going to let you get, get your morning exercise this morning. Go cruise down the Riverwalk. We'll catch up with you.
later on <laughs> afterwards that? this morning. That's amazing. Look at all it the is so fun. Look at her. She's got her. She's got her. Uh, she's got her water <laughs> sea legs about her. <laughs> all right. Well, don't go anywhere here on Spectrum News. We're